if your shoulders are feeling weak, painful, or not as mobile as they used to be, it could be your rotator cuff that's holding you back. Today, I'm gonna break down exactly what the rotator cuff is, what a rotator cuff tear could mean for you, and four amazing rehab exercises to help get you pain-free shoulders fast. Let's get into it. So first things first, what actually is the rotator cuff? A lot of our online clients have a rotator cuff tear and they don't even know what the rotator cuff is. The rotator cuff is made up of four small muscles that attach from the shoulder blade to the shoulder and they provide stability to the joint. Thing is the rotator cuff, as a support system when you're lifting your arm into different positions, especially overhead. Whether you're reaching for something in the cabinet, getting ready to throw a ball, or lifting something out to the side, your rotator cuff is always being activated. Think of the shoulder as a golf ball on a tee. If there is damage or weakness to the rotator cuff, the support system is now altered, meaning that the ball and socket in the shoulder moves too freely and it lacks stability. This lack of stability can lead to pain and mobility issues and keeping you from using the shoulder to the fullest. The rotator cuff can be torn from a bunch of different things. It's often either from a fall or repetitive overuse over many years. Another thing about rotator cuff tears is they are extremely common. Over half the population over age 60 is walking around with a rotator cuff tear with a majority of people having zero pain. The good news is a majority of rotator cuff tears do not need surgery. With the right rehab exercises, even with a rotator cuff tear, you can get back to full function pain-free. MRIs in healthcare are often the way to diagnose a rotator cuff tear. The problem with this is MRIs do not look at pain or function. Somebody could have a bunch of rotator cuff tears and have zero pain, or you could have somebody that has zero rotator cuff tears and can have the worst pain imaginable. Don't just listen to imaging, as this is only a small piece to the puzzle. A lot of people will get an MRI report read and they will schedule an injection or surgery on the spot. This is not how it's supposed to be done. So how do we treat the rotator cuff tear? Exercises need to be designed to specifically get blood flow to that area to get nutrients and heal and allow you to get back your strength. Let's get into these four rotator cuff exercises to help get you healing and stronger. Exercise number one is called a banded W hold. This is gonna target the external rotators of the rotator cuff on the back of the shoulder blade. You're gonna grab a resistance band and keeping your elbows by your side with your palms up you're gonna pull the band apart, engaging the back of your shoulders. Hold that engagement in that position for five seconds, feeling the burn in the back. Complete this exercise for 10 reps with a five second hold. Hey, real quick, I noticed you're struggling with pain and you obviously wanna fix it. So if you just text me the word pain to 720-710-4371, I will send you my free shoulder pain fix demo. Thank you later. Now back to the show. Exercise number two is called sideline shoulder flexion. This exercise is great for training the shoulder overhead and moving against gravity. Grab a light weight and lay on your side with your affected shoulder on top. With your arm by your side, you're gonna lift your arm up above your head, bringing your bicep to your ear. Focus on control as you lift your arm up and then bringing it back down. Make sure that you are keeping your pain levels low. If you need to lower the weight, that is totally fine. Complete two sets of 10 of this exercise, feeling the burn in the shoulder. All right, now let's move into more dynamic move called the banded subscap punch. This exercise focuses on strengthening the subscapularis rotator cuff muscle. This muscle is responsible for providing stability to the front of the shoulder. If you're having that pain or clicking in the front, this exercise is specifically for you. Attach a band to the rig with the working shoulder closest to it. Start with your elbow bent at your side, creating tension on the band. From there, you're going to keep your elbow bent and bring your bicep up towards your ear. Moving slow and controlled, you're going to alternate going up and down with this exercise, completing three sets of 10. You're gonna feel some engagement in the front of the shoulder and that is exactly what we're targeting. This exercise not only strengthens the shoulder but also improves control moving into those positions. This is gonna translate beautifully to bench press or shoulder press movements. The last exercise that we have is med ball ABCs. This is some of my clients' favorite exercise for engaging and burning the shoulder at the end of the workout. This exercise is geared towards strength and endurance of the rotator cuff. Grab a light med ball and keeping your elbow extended, you're gonna press the med ball against the wall. From there, you are going to slowly spell out the ABCs, making sure not to rush through any of the letters and making the letter as even as you can to the next. The goal is to make it through the entire alphabet without taking a break, but if you need to take a break, that is totally fine. 
complete one to three sets of the ABCs based on where you're at in your strength and endurance levels. You are going to feel your shoulder burning and engaging these muscles. This is exactly the stimulus that we were going for. So there you have it, guys. Those are the top four shoulder rehab exercises to help combat from a rotator cuff injury. With the banded W holds to target the back of the rotator cuff, the sideline shoulder flexion to strengthen the shoulder for overhead, the banded subscap punch to provide anterior shoulder stability, and the med ball ABCs to improve the shoulder strength and endurance of the rotator cuff. Although these exercises can be great, for someone experiencing rotator cuff tear or pain, they are not the final solution for your shoulder pain problems. The first step is to schedule a one-on-one -on -one online assessment to help diagnose what your root cause is and build a specific game plan to check the boxes to eliminate your pain and give you your life back. If you are tired of basic PT, cookie cutter exercises, and getting relief for only a couple hours or a couple of days, and you're ready to take control of your shoulder pain, then text me the word pain to 720-710-4371 to get a tailored step-by-step -step approach on how to fix your shoulder pain. Do this right now so you don't miss the opportunity to fix your shoulder pain and get your life back. After you reach out, please like and subscribe to the channel. We're putting out daily reels and also weekly YouTube videos to really answer all of you guys' shoulder questions. At Comeback Performance, our mission is to help over a million people around the world avoid unnecessary imaging, surgeries, injections, eliminate their shoulder pain, and get their lives back. At Comeback Performance, the comeback is always stronger than the setback.